kita tiba di kedutaan besar Indonesia untuk Amerika dan kita akan bertemu dengan duta besar Amerika Pak Rosan Pak Ruslani beserta juga uh, kita akan bertemu dengan ketua Kadin Amerika yaitu atau Chamber of Commerce dari Amerika dan ini akan ada pertemuan bilateral antara Kadin Indonesia dan Kadin Amerika atau disebut uh, Chamber of Commerce and Industry Amerika. Kadin is actually a registered body that is being acknowledged the only organizations in Indonesia that is being acknowledged by the government of Indonesia in regulations and we are advocating a lot of these sectors. Um, so my part is this: if we want to do this together, tangible, and we are not China-minded, we are neither no-minded because we are actually a free company to begin with. But most of us uh, sitting here is actually uh, U.S. graduates, including me, actually. Yeah, I'm Trojans, but some of my Trojans is U.S.C. Maybe you know our, our nickname. But what I'm trying to say here is. If you want to work together between U.S. and Indonesia, let's lay down all the challenges. I mean, throughout the three years of pandemic, surely we we have learned. Putting zero tolerance policies right now and policies related to biotechnology. Insurance standards are science-based. The line of international standards setting bodies ensure safety while enabling food to move from where it's produced. We have, seen, we have seen multilateral institutions addressing food security. In March, the G7 put out a joint statement calling on all countries to keep their food and ad, mar ad markets open and to guard against export restrictive policies. Recently, the WTO, World Bank, IMF, and UN Food Program called on countries to, quote, keep trade open and avoid restrictive measures such as export bans on food and fertilizer that further exacerbate the suffering of Our purpose is to nourish the world in a safe, <coughs> responsible, and sustainable way. That includes moving food from where it is grown to where it is needed. We encourage all stakeholders, governments, institutions, organizations, and the private sector. And those are things that actually is always at the back of our mind because at the end of the day, what uh, we, we, we were still just talking about the recovery from uh, the economic recovery from the pandemic. Suddenly we have this Russia and uh, Ukraine tension. That will have a greater global impact on the recovery, uh, economic recovery. And uh, you know, I was we were in New York a uh, few uh, days ago and had meeting this work on the energy transition. But one of the discussions we had actually not about the energy transition, not energy for machine, but energy for people, which is for the crisis. Mm. And this is something that is good. And Indonesia, uh, the G20 and B20 meeting, we believe it is more important, very essential to have this meeting. I mean, uh, I don't know, uh, one thing on the G side.